Hey Virgo, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for the week of May 17th through May 23rd, 2020. What messages for guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's too many. What messages for guidance do we have? All right, so we got two. First one we have is initiation by water. Let's see what we have for that. says your spiritual path this lifetime involves becoming a clear channel for spirit you're meant to communicate with higher guidance from the loving spiritual worlds your initiation by water will further open it will further open your receiving channels dislodge lower vibrational material and sensitize you to the subtle subtle realms of light you are being open to a world of which you may only have dreamed such is its beauty grace and love so the next message we have is divine talent Let's see what we have for that. Okay. It says, you are a talented soul. Over many lifetimes, you have developed the spiritual abilities to, to channel higher awareness, attract healing energy, and radiate light to uplift the consciousness of those around you. Your divine talents are many and uniquely expressed through you. Your, your talents do not have to resemble those of another to have their own inestimable value. Do not be afraid to use them. Okay. So let's see what messages we have. Give me one second, guys. All right. So let's see what messages we have. I oh like all that lint on there. All right. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance. Whoa. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May the 17th through May the 23rd, 2019. Messages, guidance for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May the 17th, May the 18th, May the 19th, May the 20th, May the 21st, May the 22nd, and May the 23rd, 2020. For Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance we have for Virgo? Oh. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. So, three of swords underneath all of this. Virgo, you could be dealing with some heartache. Could be dealing with some loss this week. Um, could be heartbroken about something this week. All right. So, Sunday here, we got the Ace of Swords here. You could be in a space of having some sort of knowledge. Um, learning some knowledge. Learning of something. I said learning some knowledge. Um, learning of something. Gaining clarity around something. Ace of Swords is it is a challenge in the beginning. I feel like for some of you guys there could be a severance that is happening. Seven of Pentacles here. Maybe it's something that you've invested your time and energy into. You could have some clarity that there's a new investment available. That could bring Nine of Cups. Um, fulfillment of wishes or you know could make you happy. Let me let this up some so y'all can see. I want y'all to see these cards as well. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. So Wednesday we have the um, emperor here. You could be in a space of gaining control of something. Um, really in a space of becoming an authority figure in regards to something. This could be like if you're a business owner or something. This could be dealing with that. All right. Thursday, we have the Two of Swords here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to have to stay in control or stay in authority in, in order to overcome the mental conflicts that you're having to face this week. This is for Thursday. Friday, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. So once you gain control of that mental conflict, you'll be able to become more confident within yourself. You'll become, be able to harvest your own materials to maybe be independent of a situation. So I do feel like there is going to be some sort of severance this week. Um, Saturday, we have the three. So there's going to be an end to a partnership this week. I definitely feel like that. Um, for some of you guys, you could have had a lot of patience with something, but you're wanting to be in alliance with something that is reciprocal. So because you're wanting something that is reciprocal, whatever has not been reciprocal within your life, you're letting that go, whether it be a job or relationship or just a mindset. Um, Let's see what we have here for Sunday. We got the Ace of Swords. Why is this mental clarity here? Why is the Ace of Swords here for Sunday? We have the Four of 
cups. So some of you guys know that investing in a situation makes you unhappy. You're seeing the bigger picture. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yep, you're seeing the bigger picture. Um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're you're desiring to gain your independence from this because you really want happiness. You want to be happy. So for some of you guys, you're realizing that a situation that you're dealing with is not making you happy. Okay. I told you. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like you're really in a space of trying to have patience, um, making plans, set, planting seeds. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Three of Cups here. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're withdrawing from a situation. You are gaining your independence here. Queen of Wands, Chariot, could be dealing with... Um, a cancer could be dealing with a fire sign, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you found your motivation to make an offer. There's an investment that is happening here. Um, I don't know if this heartache now for some of you guys, this could be someone could be coming in with an offer to you. The heartache and loss can be from what's happening underneath all this. So someone could be severing a connection, could be in a space of wanting to invest into you or into your own happiness, or you could be in a space of severing a connection with someone to invest into you being happy independently. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you guys, Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, you're very much in alignment with gaining your independence from a situation. You're seeing that this is going to make you happy. This is a celebration because you've invested so much time and energy into a situation that has not given you any fruits or has not, you know, bore any fruits from you for you. So we have the Nine of Cups here. Why is this Nine of Cups here? We got the two of swords here with the death. Some of you guys have been at a stalemate, could have been stuck. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an end to that. Page of Cups, Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're in a space of standing up, not standing, but I feel like you've created this sort of firm foundation within yourself by being very discerning of what it is that you want. And because you know what you want, you're in a space of creating an end to what you don't want, creating an end to any conflicts that you have or anything that is keeping you stuck so that you can pursue moving forward toward what you feel which is happiness underneath all that you got the five of cups so some of you guys are most definitely changing the way you feel around a situation um there could also be some regret of not being able to gain authority over this previously so we have the emperor here could be dealing with an aries hyphen here with the king of cups some of you guys are gaining control and really in a space of extending your energy this could also be a masculine energy that is wanting to extend their energy toward a relationship could also be dealing with a taurus here with six of pentacles i feel like some adjustments have been made um seven of pentacles here for some of you guys i feel like either you have conflict about someone gaining authority and making adjustments for themselves or you're making an adjustment and gaining authority there could still be some conflict but i feel like for a lot of you guys you really want to take control and plant the seeds that you want to plant in order for you to be happy all right, so we have the Two of Swords here. Why is this Two of Swords here? Why is this Two of Swords here? Why is this Two of Swords here? We got the Moon card here with the Hermit. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're very much in the space of you're inside of your feelings. That's what's creating conflict. Some of you guys are in your feelings about something. Ace of Wands here. Someone may have extended an olive branch. You could have a new opportunity. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there are some adjustments, like I said, being made um, for you to be able to move toward victory. I feel like the, the mental conflict is because you're starting to gain control. And I feel like I do feel like you're in your feelings about it um, because it does require you severing connections that maybe you deemed solid previously. Okay. Let's see what, why we have this here. Why is this nine of pentacles here? Why is this nine of pentacles here? Why is this nine of pentacles here? We have the four of wands. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're gaining your independence. Or some of you guys are confident about making plans. Ooh, world card, queen of pentacles. This is you. So I feel like you're making plans. Um independently making plans to move forward here away from a confusing situation or away from a situation that created an illusion in your life i feel like for a lot of you guys you're very much confident about moving it toward this new ascension about putting things in motion for yourself um i do feel like you're looking at this sensibly you feel like it's a sensible plan for you to become for you to harvest what you've the seeds that you've sown for you to be able to get what it is that you deserve which in this case is your happiness because you've been dealing with so much that has created an imbalance within your your joy and imbalance within your life why is this three of wands here 
Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like for some of you guys, you're ooh, this is a commitment. Ten ten with three of wands, ten, ten, ten. So some of you guys, I do feel like you're at a crossroads. There's an embrace and like an end to a challenging. This is a commitment. Some of you guys were committed to a partnership. I feel like 10, 10, 10, that is it. So I do feel like there's an end to a partnership this week. Um, but I feel like you feel as though it's within the best interest. Or if you're, it's, if it's not an end to a partnership, you're no longer in alliance with something that you've committed to yourself to previously. And this can be a friendship, this can be a relationship, this can be a past commitment, whatever the case may be. I feel like you're coming into your own dominion, standing up for what you believe is right, and 10, 10, 10, putting an end to something. All right. Three tens in a row there. So that's definitely a transition that is happening. Let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward? This is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward? What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward? This is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance moving forward. For Virgo. Got a new beginning. Every ending brings a new beginning. Things are changing. I told you there's a shift. For a lot of you guys, the shift comes from within. You went into solitude within yourself. You've reflected on what it is that you desire. And for some of you guys, you desire to be happy. So you're moving away from, again, situations that do not create that. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.